Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation Hi, welcome to Tectonic Shift. In this video, I will show you how to create an Azure task. Let's get started. To create an Azure task, switch to Azure Boards in your Azure project. From the drop-down menu of New Work Items, select Task. This will open a new window where you can create your task. First, let's add a title for your task in the respective title bar. The title is mandatory, so make sure to provide a descriptive name so that it can easily be tracked in Azure boards as I am doing for my own task. Next, if necessary, you can assign the task to a specific person. You can do this by selecting their names from the unassigned dropdown or by typing their name or email addresses. In the description section, you can add additional details about the task. Feel free to provide a clear description of what needs to be done. Now, in the activity dropdown, choose the type of activity that best represents the task. It could be related to deployment, development, testing or any other relevant activity. To track your time, enter the estimated time in remaining work hours. This will help you monitor your progress and manage your time effectively. The description field also offers various formatting options. You can make text bold, italicize it and more. Depend on your requirement. If needed, you can add comments in the discussion section. Use this feature to notify someone or provide additional contacts for your task as I am doing right now. In the area and iteration field, select the appropriate area and iteration that align your Grant work. Now click on save to create your task. Congratulations, your task has been successfully logged. When you start working on the task, you can update the state to doing or in progress, whichever option is available to you. Don't forget to click save after making changes. Feel free to add comment during your work and update the remaining work hours to reflect your progress. As you can see, first I am adding a comment so that it can be tracked. Click save and now I am updating my work hours, remaining work hours, how many work hours are remaining and click save. Now if you are done with your task. Change the state to done. In the discussion section, add a final comment or any relevant information that you want to keep for your future reference. If you don't want, don't do it. Remember to click save to save your changes. Additionally, you can set the task priority by selecting the appropriate option from the priority dropdown, depending upon your requirement. That's it for creating the Azure task. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to keep watching our videos and please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching Tectonic Shift.